Okay, February 3rd, 2017, right before treatment of fluconazole, I believe it's called. 200 milligram tablets. I'm going to do 18 of them, 180 gallon water volume. Um, bryopsis, hair algae, not positive which it is. I'm told bryopsis. Can't get rid of it no matter nothing. Uh, Vibrant didn't really touch it. Everything that's missing out of here is because I pulled it. And it just spread. But I've been keeping it down. The only thing I am dosing is no pox. I have stopped Vibrant about two weeks ago before treating for a massive cyanobacteria outbreak. I'm going to do a quick video on where it's at and how much of it and compare after a few days of treatment. As you can see, it is all on my overflow columns. And what you can't see down inside, it's full of it. Between the rocks, behind the rocks, everywhere. Some of it I've been still pulling off, and yes, I have two lone Aptasia. They've been there for two and a half years and never spread. I have. This area is full. It's hard for me to reach. Although I do get it with some tweezers. I stopped pulling this algae a while back, maybe a week or so ago. But it is literally everywhere. I'm going to use this location. It's all up here. It killed my Tyree tricolor. And I'm going to use this location for picture comparisons. This one's pretty bad too. All inside the rock. Funny how there is none up here. This is all my very old rock that was soaked in hydrogen peroxide years ago. And it never grew on it. I find that pretty interesting. That's a frag plug that had none on it three days ago. That's how fast this stuff grows. Maybe you can see in the back with this view. Hmm. It Everything dark in here is algae. Perhaps this hair. I'm not exactly certain. It's really trying to take this poor coral over. Anyway. That is the tank. 180 gallons. So, let's see how this works. It's been working for a whole lot of people, and I'm very excited to be trying it.